Hello everyone, so I wanted to show you how I did my UI with Dakin Forge uh, GUI and how I used it to make my toggle music button uh, in Nebula Prototype. So uh, that's the game I'm working on in Unity and I use a bunch of assets so uh, here we go and if I have time I will show you how uh, I use the Dark Future music and the Sound Manager Pro to uh, to make a playlist of my music for my level so uh, if you haven't seen my uh, Nebula prototype video I suggest you uh, go see it right now uh, it will help you figure out how uh, what I'm talking about let's go so this is uh, the UI screen uh, if you don't know uh, dig and forge UI how it works so I have a UI root which is here and there's no game stuff in here, only the UI. My game is in the game root that I made. So if I uh, zoom out, uh, so that's my ship. And if I open, there's uh, the particles, which are the, the, the stars, and some paths and cameras and stuff. But uh, so, so there's no GUI stuff in the way because there's another camera with the GUI so uh, there's a few things here first there's a label uh, which is the press half to toggle uh, afterburners oh, so that's what it is so I have to resize this one so let's resize it there you go that was a bug and then there's the the title here which use uh, uh, open semi bold. Uh, what's fun is uh, in this skin. If I open it, don't know if we can. So yeah. So if we uh, open here, can I zoom it further? No. So as you can see, the textures here, it's white. And if you look in the, the GUI here, it's not completely white. There's a black, uh, you know, it's fading to black. And that's that's a feature of uh, Dagon Forge. I have to select it first, and that, that would be uh, better. So, right here, text effect, draw gradient. And the top color is white, the bottom color is black, so uh, you can do effects like that. So that was a simple test. Uh, and so that's that's uh, what's fun about it. And the other stuff, which is even better, I think, it uh, it let you set anchors. So for example, this uh, if the resolution change, for example, you go in uh, 180p so it's widescreen so normally if you uh, program your game like this to uh, to be uh, less than that so if the screen resize uh, the label would not be at this position it would be like here because uh, it, it's uh, pixel perfect so if you want to keep it uh, on the corner you can use you can do that with uh, Deacon Forge. You simply select uh, the anchor at left and top, and it will be there. Same things for my icon. It's right and top, so it will be fixed uh, in the right corner. And same thing for the uh, the instructions down there. So if we see in the game uh, screen, so as you can see uh, right now. And if I select uh, standalone, so so there we go. The the all the uh, labels and buttons are in each corners. If I select the 180p, oh, so now it don't work. Uh, let's check. Let's uh, press play. So you see, if I press play, each thing, each uh, label are in their own corners, and it worked perfectly. So let's stop this. So that works. So that that's a feature uh, 
that is really interesting because uh, otherwise you you'd have things all over the place and managing uh, managing different resolution is not the best the, the funniest thing in the world I can tell you that so so now let's talk about the the button because that that's the only thing that really does something uh, in the GUI uh, right now uh, I can't wait to get started but uh, so right now I only have this to show so uh, for the button uh, I used uh, some uh, Sound Manager Pro uh, uh, stuff to make the music start and stop so what's fun about it is uh, with the Dagon Forge is that you can uh, generate scripts so if for example I have the the button here I select it and then create script so now I can uh, generate script for my button so if for example I wanted to do a double click I click like uh, I click in it and it generate a double click event and I could say uh, reference control so that I have a reference to my button in the in the script and then I could uh, I could do uh, you know there's properties here like color changed so that if the color is changed uh, there's a an event over here and stuff like that so it's really easy to create a great script for it and it's a great way to learn too because uh, you know there's things like drag and drop and things like that it's really great to uh, learn how to use the script in unity i think so you get how it's supposed to work uh, without even looking at the uh, examples really so let's see how i uh, i toggled my music so we'll open my script here so that's the toggle music script so uh, it's really easy there's a non-click event there's a, a log here that say toggle music so I check if the music's playing. I uh, I will stop the music and put uh, a flag that say the music is not playing anymore. And uh, if it's uh, if it's not playing, then I do a play connection and uh, for my level name. So I will show you how it works with Sound Manager because uh, uh, that's pretty interesting. So that's about it. That's the script for the button, and it do what it do, uh, what I wanted to do. So uh, let's close this. So that was enough script. There's no more script in my code. <laughs> you won't see any. Uh, so uh, can it get more simple than that? So uh, let's see how Sound Manager works. So I will uh, I will go in my game root and I will open the. No, it's in the assets and playmaker GUI. Uh, no, sound manager. So that's it. So let me uh, do some room for it. So that's uh, my current scene is level one. As you can see, there's a you you set the crossfade duration, and in my case it's two. So that's that's what it does is the the scr the crossfading when I start and stop and between songs so there's a crossfade because I can set a playlist and I will show you how it works so basically I have my level here and those levels uh, let me let me delete it so let me create create from scratch so if you uh, first thing you do when you uh, you start with uh, uh, sound manager is you you go into build settings and you put the list of all your scenes in this build settings so uh, this will populate the connection uh, the choose level uh, combo box so uh, let's see how, what it does so uh, here there's the add sound collection and I select level one uh, continuous playthrough and there's very uh, you can shuffle you can play once uh, there's a lot of stuff you can do and then drag audio clip or select the audio clip so let's let's go uh, get some audio uh, I downloaded the dark future pack which is free on the asset store uh, great stuff and I saw that they have a lot of other sound effects too and I will surely buy that buy some of them for uh, for nebula prototype because there's uh, 
there are uh, high quality uh, sound effects and there's a lot of uh, science fiction and ship sound effects so that will be awesome to work with so uh, let's let's take a few uh, oops uh, I will lock this uh, lock this and take a few song here and we just drag them here so let's reorder them so that one two three and so that's it you I have my playlist for my level one if I had uh, more levels I could uh, add other songs to it and it would cross fade even between levels uh, at least that's what I uh, I heard it was doing so that's pretty intense uh, really so you could have a, lo a load screen and uh, have music playing in it or between levels change the soundtrack or whatever uh, what's great too is that uh, at any time you can s uh, tell a sound manager pro to uh, to play a track for example if you have battle music or bus music and uh, when it's done it won't start the sound connection uh, automatically you can just uh, restart it and uh, some new music will pop up so that's pretty great so at any time you can cross fade with bottle music or uh, whatever so so my my sound connection is done here so uh, let's just finish uh, so it's created it's here you can see all the tree tracks uh, what I can do, uh, for example, is uh, load the game. Let's not maximize it, just start it. So it says, uh, Future World Dark Loop 1 will start playing, but uh, right now I stopped it uh, at the beginning. So let's start. So the music is playing now. So it, it already loaded the next track. Uh, if I wanted, I could... Uh, So, so that says the next track that we'll play will uh, will be this one. I don't remember if I can uh, tell it to switch to, uh, to this track myself, but uh, I know it works. Uh, we could uh, and there's some uh, script event to uh, change track. So I think I will do that. Uh, it will be easier to show the crossfade to track if I. Uh, I add a button or two to change track. Uh, well, uh, let's do it. Let's do the button. That will be easy enough. So, uh, and I, it will show you how uh, how the GUI work and all. Uh, so, uh, let's do it. So, UI root. We go uh, right here. And let's do uh, next track button. Right under the... Right under this. So, uh, okay, so I had a few problems with the UI, but it's, it's all fixed now. So each each of these buttons has anchor, so that they they stay on the top right. Uh, same thing for this button. So everything is working fine now. I had some problems because I uh, stupidly put uh, a button script on the UI root and broke everything so don't do that so not now let's show I will show you how uh, it works in the game so we go here we start the music now let's look, look at the sound manager so the music is now playing if I do next track it's cross fading so now a new track is started no uh, no rough edges as I could say Sound Manager, Sound Manager Pro also uh, do sound effect. Uh, so eventually, once I had uh, firing to the game, uh, I'll be able to manage the sound effect with uh, here. So you you can even uh, play capped sound effects. So for example, if uh, there's a lot of enemies that shoot uh, lasers, uh, it could eventually. Uh, add some noises uh, because too many laser firing sounds would collide and all you'd hear would, would be noise so with Sound Manager Pro 
uh, you can play cap noise. So, for example, you'd say only three uh, laser sound effect can be uh, playing at the same time. So, uh, so just enough to balance uh, the fact that a lot of people are shooting lasers, and you're not getting uh, swamped with uh, too many laser fires. So uh, that's something I will uh, look into and I think you can even uh, tag some sound effects so that uh, only some of them can be capped together and so forth. So uh, once I do that I will show you uh, how it works. There's some great videos uh, uh, about it so uh, maybe I will link to it. So, so that's how it works. Uh, I wanted to show you uh, the previous track with Playmaker, but uh, I didn't. I don't have the plugin installed. So uh, thank you for listening, and uh, I hope you will be there for a new uh, another devlog uh, when I do one. So thanks.